Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be setting up my traveler's notebook that I got from Japan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the little bits and pieces I've got and as I'm showing you I'm going to be putting it all together. So I've got the two big books here. These ones are the main inserts that will go inside. I've also got a few um, stickers. Oh no, this is actually it says it's a folder. Sorry, I haven't actually gone through everything in detail yet. These ones here are pocket stickers. I've also got the band so I can add everything in. And then I've got the case. So that will be my main core that will go inside. And then on this side of the table, I've got the clip so that when I'm journaling, I can clip the pages open. This one here is a little tag and it looks like little envelopes. I actually thought they were envelopes when I bought them. I've got the charm. So this charm is the plain charm. This one here, um, someone did tell me in the comments, but I can't remember, but I think it was for measuring or lines or something. And then I've got the cute two little traveling notebooks as well, the passport size ones. So I'm going to be chucking those ones in as well. And then all of that will come together nicely and then I've got the washi tape and you'll see me put that together. So let me open this one up and I'll show you what the traveler's notebook look, looks like. Alright, so this is my traveler's notebook. I'm so excited. Let me do a close up for you guys. Alright, so let's open it up so pretty as you can see we've already got a divider in there and then that's the band that puts it all together so I don't know how I'm gonna lay this out yet but I think I want this one as my cover or even one of these two so when I went into the travelers company or the factory um, I actually got a lot of the stamps in this book because I really really wanted to keep them so I thought that was pretty cool that I got to stamp inside the book. I wouldn't mind putting the book there and just covering that. Alright, so we're going to put these two in first and then we're going to work from there. So I've got little instruction manual on the back of this one that I bought and basically one of these goes around the travelling notebook like that, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to double check that but bear with me <laughs> as I'm figuring this out. And then the second one will just be attached to the first one. So I put it around the book. So once you've got your rubber band in the middle, then what I'm just gauging off what the instructions say. So if I'm doing this completely different to most people, then I'm sorry. But basically then the rubber band goes over just this book here. It doesn't go over the whole thing. And that's how it keeps all of the books together. And then, oh yeah, I stamped in this book as well, which looks really cool. So let's go back to the folder that I just put in and basically the folder just slips in between this book and this book's already attached with a rubber band. So let's put this one in. Okay, I thought I might want to open this one up, this washi tape and make a little bit of a decorative pattern on the front. I'm really second guessing how much stuff I'm putting in here. Okay, not sure if you meant to do this, but you guys remember this like bookmarky thing that I thought was a bookmark? It might actually be for securing things. So basically, it's the only thing that attaches um, that doesn't like fully touch the whole way around. So I could thread it through. Let me see if this works. I could thread it through this hole at the bottom here. Okay, so I've threaded it through this little hole at the bottom of this folder here. And then what I can do is just tie it under the elastic band. So let me tie it in and I'll show you my new idea. As you can see, it now comes out the bottom, but it used to come out the bottom anyway because I thought it was like a bookmarky thing. And it's threaded through the hole at the bottom and now it nicely sits inside my traveler's notebook. I like that it's plain on this side because this is quite, like there's a lot happening. It's... Um, it's quite bold, this image, and then as you flip it over, it's got the nice little pocket there. And I don't know if now I like this elastic band at the back there. So let's take that one out and redo it. So instead of putting it over the traveler's notebook, I'm actually going to use the already existing rubber bands inside. 
sorry, there's notebooks attached to the traveler's notebook, I mean cover. This one is attached to this one here. This one is attached to the band that was running through the traveler's notebook when we first got it. This one is just threaded through the band that this one's attached to. And I've set it up! I think I did it right because now there's no icky rubber bands on the outside and I'm pretty sure I haven't seen anyone do that. So I want my charm sitting nicely here. Um, so I need the charm on the outside, so wait, how am I going to do this? I'm going to have to put one through first and then just tie it back off. I'm hoping <laughs> this will work. It was around that long, so. Yay! My idea worked and it looks super cute. My beautiful aeroplane charm. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go there for some reason, but I like it here better. This is so much fun. I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this. Yay, pretty notebook. <laughs> so the last two things that I have to put in my traveler's notebook, well, I want to put in my traveler's notebook, I should say, are these adorable little passport um, inserts. All right, so I've used one of the clear pockets now on this notebook. I've put one in the back here. And then I can put that one in there, in there. Oh, it might even look cute there. So it's finally complete. I'm really happy with the setup. I'll do a little quick flip through. So the cute little um, clip there, the charm, and then as you open it up, I've got my two notebooks nicely bound together using the original uh, bat, like the original band that was inside. Then it's the cover, the little plastic slip what do you call it, sorry, the folder um, with the beautiful image on the front. And then I've put this little notebook back inside of here just because I weren't happy with how it was on the outside. So I'll figure out how I'm going to deal with that one later, but that one is the nice sealable folder there. Then we've got the original notebook insert that came with the book, and then I've got my washi tape and this little plastic slip here so I can put all the papers in there. As we flip over, we've again the, got then the back of the plastic cover there. Um, it's got little folder inserts here and then on the back as well. And then I've got my last little passport notebook there. So I'm so happy with that. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you got a few ideas from it. I'm so excited to start using it. My 2020 journal. And uh, as I said, it took me a really long time to purchase one of these and get the funds to do it. This is actually what I used for my Japan trip. I used these notebooks here. I got these from Muji and then I got this little plastic slip. I put everything together in this little pouch here. So although I didn't have one of these, I kind of made my own little pouch version up. And this is the alternate version of it. Um, if you do want to see the video of how I made my alternate travel notebook, then I'll link that into the description box below so you can find it in my journaling playlist. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.